YouTube has a drama problem. For better or for worse, if I got hit by a bus tomorrow, people would be sad, I hope. <laughs> but life would totally go on for everyone. It's been kind of up and down with the sickness thing. <sighs> and then to kind of crown it all off, I got um, uh, the stomach bug. And this is my contribution to it. This is my MacBook Pro, my life. Well, at least my business life. Well, actually, mostly my personal life, too. Purchased late 2016, top of the line, big solid state drive, lots of memory, the extra graphics card. Okay, call me a fanboy. Tell me a fool and his money soon parted. Just unload, I don't care. It's a beautiful machine, except for one problem and that's the butterfly keyboard. You've heard about that, right? That's what Apple has decided to cover under extended warranty for four years after the purchase date. That's what they're getting sued over. That's what has had this MacBook Pro in the shop now twice. Then there was that part about the teriyaki sauce, but don't tell anybody about that. So, out of warranty now, out of Apple Care now, and the keyboard goes bad again what to do. I load it up in the car and take it to the Apple Store, 29th Street, Boulder, Colorado. They check it in, send an email saying they have it for service, and they'll get back to me unless there's some kind of a problem that they didn't anticipate. Well, in comes an email the next day. This email doesn't look promising. I call the store. They inform me there's liquid damage. Now, this motherboard, keyboard, and case were replaced about a year and a half ago. I don't remember spilling anything in it. But I drive back to Boulder. They have a little tiny iPhone with a picture of something and said, that's liquid damage. We cannot replace the keyboard without replacing a whole bunch of other parts that you have to pay for. They sent me an email outlining the cost. This is for a machine that is now trading in for about $1,220. I now have a boat anchor. The machine still works, no problems, no flickering in the display, no hard disk problem, no memory problem, just that pesky keyboard that types two or three Fs or Js every time I type it and sometimes doesn't type any at all. What to do? Give up, buy a new one, put this on the garbage heap, donate it, Let's try one more thing. I visited the Apple website, chatted with a technician, told them the situation. Their suggestion was, put it in a box, we'll send the box to you, ship it back to us, we'll take a look. My concern was the serial number that has now been noted as having liquid damage by the Apple store in Boulder. It's kind of been blackballed. The technician says, I can't change the notes, but the service center will make their own evaluation and get back to you. Here comes the box, laptop goes in the box, and heads back to Apple. It gets there in one day. That morning, I get an email from Apple, just like I did from the Apple store. Your unit is in for service. We'll let you know what happens. Well, I'm waiting for the other email. What email is it gonna be? Later that day, comes the email. Your repair is complete. Your machine is back on its way to you. Hey. The next day, FedEx shows up with the MacBook Pro. Thanks, man. Thanks. Have a great Take bye -bye. care. The keyboard is perfect. I take the service receipt out of the box, check it out. Not only was the keyboard replaced, the motherboard was replaced, 
the hard disk was replaced, the screen was replaced, all at no charge. Machine out of warranty, machine no longer under Apple Care. So, moral of the story, don't trust the Apple Store. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Thumbs up to Apple for supporting their product. Thumbs down to the Apple Store Boulder for not supporting their product. The like brand new machine probably traded in on the brand new MacBook Pro 2019. Beautiful new machine and now full trade in value for the 2016 model. Advice to live by. Catch you next time.